of like, eh, kind of, that kind of puts it's me It's a off. big risk. I'm going for liquid this time. Well, so time doesn't say anything after all. Let's find out what's going to happen with Odie Pixel and Fog. Thank you very much, Shiva. Yes, game two now. Team Secret versus Team Liquid. I'm Odie Pixel. I need to sneeze. Oh. Uh, oh. I'm trying not to. Ah, oh, brain slug. Okay. All right, I got it. I held it in. Right. I'm good. Here we have it. And uh, Fog, we have a mid one gyro cocktail. We do have a mid one gyro. This is going to be an interesting one. More about the gyro. I wanted to talk about how Secret first two picked the clockwork, and yep. what I was looking at is Liquid. They pick Queen of Pain, then they pick Lone Druid. Okay. Then they pick Coddle, and then they pick Marana. So three of these heroes can easily escape from the clockwork cogs. Coddle, when you have six, you can Blinding Light and push the clockwork out. So I'm thinking is going to have a little bit of a rough one in this game. And I think it's really important for him to have a good game to set the tempo for Secret's lineup. But, uh, yeah, I think they're, they're going to struggle a bit. Even though it, we've seen Liquid this, this draft, it's not as an aggressive as a draft as we usually do from Liquid. This is the slow, methodical death. Yeah, absolutely. We might have been on that, that lone druid this time. The bears instead of the wolves. And they're going to be doing the roaming shaker and coddle this time around. And this is their staple Liquid. Leave Matu alone in that top lane in a one versus one. He tends to be fine. I mean, how does that one versus one play out as well? If it, if it does stay, it's just one. We want the Beastmaster versus Lone Druid. Surely that's it's pretty good for that too, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'd say I'd say that matchup is easier than the Lycan Timber, isn't it? Or would you say no? I mean, he'll, he'll farm. He'll farm yeah. perfectly fine. It, I mean, he'll, he tends to farm on majority of his heroes. It's once he gets level five, the Beastmaster gets really bullied. Okay. Beast should farm decently well versus uh, Lone Druid in the laning phase, though, for the first few, because you have such high base damage. And with the axes, it's... It makes it a lot easier for you to get those last hits. Yeah, let's, let's talk about this mid lane. So mid one on the gyrocopter. How is he going to do against the, this, the, the Miracle Marana? I feel this this can't be easy, surely, for a giant. He's got Drowera. Oh, sure, okay. So that that's something. Yeah, and he can force the lane out a little bit better because he's black early. Okay. Marana doesn't get Starfall till like, level 3 slash 4. But GH is always going to sit around mid. The Fissures, they're going to try to connect with arrows. So I, th I think mid one will struggle because of that. And I mean, Kuroki's even making the way down as well, but... So, I've actually been curious about this with Shakers, is if, if people are going to be starting to block off with my control, I might be able to have to force Blink. Uh, if people are going to start blocking off lane as Shaker, and this game, GH did block the off lane. So just making sure that my control can actually get something out of this lane. It's, it's a really hard one for him now, since they're putting a full tri lane down versus him. He's doing his best to try and hang around and soak XP, keeping himself <laughs> hidden in the tree line, but yeah, Secret heavily hunting for him down there. Do you see uh, Kuro and GH? Kuro is literally just shockering GH, and he's just spamming fissures in mid lane. I mean, I think they know that this lane, it's, it's a gyro mid. This, surely this is very abusable. This is a hero that very rarely stands his own in a, in a solo situation, let alone being in the mid lane. Bottom lane, mind control, getting gone on some good cast bounces here. Bishop from GH trying to buy some time to get out. Of the sword. Can't get out, but it's, it's not going to be the case. They get the first point by taking down Mind Control. Yep, Maybe GH they can get a second too. as well with the Maledict from Puppy. Yeah, GH, he's almost barely going to pop. Off he goes, accepts his fate. Puppy with the double kill. Can they get more? I mean, yeah, I'm still seven seconds until he has the, the battery cell, but Puppy with some good body blocks could buy the time to set this one up. And with the right clicks, this Witch Doctor does early game. I think this might just be a triple kill for Puppy, and it is okay. indeed. Two minutes in. Triple kill for Puppy. He was not happy and you have to with game one. He out. And he's coming back with vengeance. What a way to start for the Witch Doctor there, Fog. Very nicely done by Secret. Look how much gold he's got. 900 gold straight up in the bank account. 200. Two minutes in. He is a, a very rich Witch Doctor. The tri lane is really strong by Secret. That's something they do have to be careful about. Witch Doctor, Clockwork, Drow Ranger. Witch Doctor already yep. has one of the highest right clicks as a support. Throw on a Drow on top there. Very lovely. I put GH back down in. Eh? Getting his eyes on Puppy. Puppy spots the Maledict. GH has got to be careful as you say. Maledict's in a few right clicks. They're not something to scoff at. Got to respect that. Ace to see us at the moment looking very good as well in the drought. 12 for 9. Yeah. Keeping the denies Ooh, high. The XP low for Liquid. Liquid trying to move in there. Got three heroes here, but look at this wraparound from Yapsu. He's trying to come in from the backside. Again, the cast. Maledict is down onto GH. GH does get the Fisher off. But he, can he get out of this one? Yapsu. Let's go around the Fisher. He's going to be able to get the cost. And he catches Kuro. Back and indeed. Uh, Kuro, I don't know if he's getting out of this one either. Battery Assault brings him low. Yapsu doesn't want to dive the tower. Turns towards the bigger kill potentially. Looking for mind control. 
control will survive. Puppy has to up. He's out of mana. But again, this bottom lane, this tri lane for Steve from Seeker looking absolutely terrifying. Miracle? Mid lane. Is that. Take me. Oh my goodness. The mid like one, mid gyrocopter, getting a solo kill on Miracle Marana. I mean, this is. Secret, you could tell they were not content with being beat down as hard as they were in game one. And this game two, they are striking back with some incredible force and pace. They've got to, they've got to keep the pace up. Yeah. That's the important thing. Like we said, Liquid's lineup is more about like this methodical kind of thing, but 2K advantage already secret. And Yapsor is doing incredibly well in the clockwork. Very good hero versus Coddle and Earthshaker in the laning phase. Just being able to close the gap, they can't really get their spells off. Grabs. How's Mati doing in top lane there? Getting a couple boar kills, so he's a little bit ahead of the experience department. And he is level 5 now, so this is where Fada starts to get punished a bit more. Surprised the surprise Miracle died to death, though. He literally just got flashed. Just like... It was up top, free from Matsu. They managed to outplay Fada. Fisher blocks there from GH Liquid. Get themselves the, the first kill on the board. The bait by Matu, putting the bear very, very low. Or the other, Lone very low. To get baited. I mean, um, we are seeing this in the middle, and you said not only with the flat cannon pushing the, the wave out, but it, it's not fun for Miracle. He's constantly taking these extra hits from an uh, incredible range. I mean, missile harassment as well. It, it's really doing it. This mid gyro proving to be very strong against a hero as uh, a squishy in the early stages, effectively, as, as this Murano. In the past, people have like tried this mid yeah. gyro with the missile, but the missile is so slow you could just like, pretty much kill it before it hit you. But now, you can't kill that missile before it gets onto you. So yeah, he's doing quite well. Miracle's still a tiny bit ahead, but mid one is ahead because of that kill. Up top, Fada. As soon as he died once, it happens again. This combo, GH and Matuma Man, very scary for... I mean, would be for the majority of any melee offlaners. This Beastmaster can't come out too far. Otherwise, he gets caught out. If they get a root, they could go for this. Fisher. They do, they've got the stick charging and the Fisher. There's the root as well, Puppy. And it's gonna get taken out. I mean, they need this top lane to be going. I mean, like Matuma Man is, is absolutely dominate now. He's with 2 0 1, three kills in the last, literally in the last minute, he's been getting yeah. that. It's getting absolutely crazy. What we like to call Matu the Rock. Always just. When his team struggles in other lanes, he always has that incredibly good laning phase. And Ace. Good amount of hits onto mind control. Here's mind control trying to trade a bit of harassment and ace. I'll tell you what as well. Look at this man's CS. Yes, well, six minutes in, 34 29. I, I, don't, I don't think he's missing. Many. I was going to say, has he missed any creep? This is an in, this has got to be an incredibly high percentage that he's hit out of the crease that he can. This is an insane amount of CS for this safe lane draft. Microsoft to watch his positioning here. His level of gust. He may just be dead. But that Malik is on him. A couple more hits. Is he gonna pop? He's gonna try for the TP. I don't think he makes it. He's gonna pop. Oh, oh the Ada Fairy Fire. TP'd an Ada Fairy Fire. Oh, shoot. I think he might. It was very close. Yeah, I do, very, very dude. Close. I'm pretty sure if he didn't get up close to me, yeah, he would have been done. Like... That was quick fingers. Yeah. I, I barely even saw him buy it. Miracle mid. He's got the raindrop now on Miracle, so he absorbs a lot of that uh, homing missile damage. But now, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Shooting missiles at the mid lane, breaking those charges at the mid one. Go. He's trying to dive in Miracle on this one. Leaps again out of the cooldown. Missile will connect one more leap. Has he got the right thing? He has. We'll be able to get him <laughs> one before the homing missile connects. GH coming across as well, just in case Miracle was in any further trouble. But he gets is he going to keep shooting kill. missiles meant to break the raindrop? He is. He, he, he eats the last raindrop. Oh, man. Yep, sorry. Now, like we're starting to... To level things back off after yeah. a, a bit of a crazy start. Yeah, from 5 0 to 5 4 now. My control is the one that's really suffering though. He's oh. gusted again, and Mine? Puppy's here too. Oh, he's, he's dead this time. No fairy of fire will save that man. But the Maledict, he's trying, to, he's trying his best to regen. It's, oh. Bye bye. Nah, he's gone. Rest in peace. Oh. Spies a mango before dying, so it doesn't lose too much gold, but yeah. Another kill going for that safe lane. Secret. This offlane cop, as you say, just getting well and truly slaughtered. Yeah, seven last hits. That's the big difference here. Seven last hits on Quap while Beastmaster has 36. Guru now. He's. Oh, Puppy's got a haste rune. He's too good. Guru's dead, Puppy. 
walks in under three heroes, gets the kill on Kuro, and gets nice out of there. This is... <laughs> oh my God. I mean, Puppy's Witch Doctor recently definitely has to be the sort of standout hero I feel that Puppy's been bringing out. Every game that he plays this Witch Doctor, he just seems to have an incredible time on it. It's 5-1-1. One, one. The Yams are trying to make the on top with the roar with from Fada, but they're unable to pick up Automati just yet. I hope so. Can do this. Level 9 Lone Druid. As you say, with the positioning of Matu, it's very hard for them to make this play. Unless Matu massively overextends, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Maybe if the 6 was there for Yapsor. They're smoking. Uh, They're going to bottom. They want to kill Ace. They got to get my control some more levels. If they can get on top of the Drought, they could certainly blow him up. Miracle. With the, the massive amounts of magical burst, but they have to get on top of it. TPs may come in reaction. We'll see how carefully Ace plays it. An arrow, leap forward, and a Star Storm following up a Fisher. Could do it. He might know something's up, though. Mid lane is completely empty. They're pinging him yeah, out. GH knows that he stepped up because his smoke broke. Yeah, I'm going to try. There's the Fisher. Miracle. Arrow comes through with the jump forward from Miracle and Mike Joel. They have enough burst. They take down the kill. Kuro trying for the TP out. We'll make it back to base. So, secret. Not losing. Yeah, just losing Ace. They don't get a kill in return straight up. They are chasing down Miracle, but I don't think they've got any detection. No, Puffy. Nothing on him at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get the blind knocked back with the cogs onto mind control as the moonlight ends up. And yeah, Secret, as for now, unable to get a return kill. Mind control's got bling back up. He should be safe. The, the missile's on him now, though. He's dead. Oh. Yeah, they've got vision of him. I thought he was going to be able to lead back out to safety, but looks like he leapt deeper and closer to the tier one tower. Right on top of Puppy too, the instant cast. Still there, Matsu's farm on top of it. He's got the Midas stun. 1600 gold on top of it as well. This is on, uh, on track to be a quick Radiance timing for the Lone Druid. So this is definitely the big worry for Secret. The fact that the Matsu is, is having no trouble at all this game. And like we said, this one's, this Liquid Draft yeah. is not about just crushing the lanes. It's about that later game once they get the Radiance online, once they get the Coddle on the edge. Yeah. Nice to get the catch on the GH. That's how you get the classic hero to struggle against the clock. No way he can get himself out of that one. Enemy. Miracle, working on the Hawk. It's so tanky now. Missed up hill, it survives. Okay. How's Fada doing? Almost has book one. Bottom. Okay. Cool. So still doing a whole world better than Mind Control's Quat, who's just suffered massively on this bottom lane. But still just got level four on the offlane Queen of Pain. Yeah, bottom two net worth yeah. as well. It's not great Quat. It's 11 minutes. That's yep. They've really shut him down in this laning phase. The arrow mid. Throwing missiles out. Again, grasping and running for those infused raindrops. Both have Miracle going for the Dragon Lance this game. We're not going to see any sort of, uh, of magical burst builders, it seems, that we've seen some of the Muranas toying around with recently. Such as Trying to kill the missile. Oh, he killed it this time. He didn't get hit by it. Ace you Moon top as well. That Miracle will be able to get his hands on by the looks of it. The third point in Missile is usually the most valuable one because of that four hits it takes to kill. He actually only goes for two, so Miracle's actually able to kill it before it hits him. Haste. G. Shadow. Walking under Ward Vision. There's a Moonlight Shadow now. There's a Dust on Yapto though. Oh, yeah, Yapto's yeah, ready to die. He's got the Vision onto GH. Cooldown won't connect. So with the chase down from the battery, so they don't need the old Fujara to hit. That freshly placed Ward sees GH walking in. I know it's straight away. Quick ping from GH. He knows it's up there. Probably almost online for Matu. So this continues to be deep with the big problem for Secret. They've got to do something about this Lone Druid before it's too late. Yeah, they also, with a Drow lineup, you want to be able to get some towers too. My control bottom gets gusted up. What hits? You should run. Level 6 attained now on my control, so maybe we'll see a rotation come out to try to punish AC. Yeah, how could Pretty GH? tanky though. Maybe between the two of them with the Sonic Wave, it 
I mean, it would be close. There's definitely potential for him to turn around if, if any sort of TP comes in for secret, so... If it's perfect under a creep wave, they might sure. have enough to burst him, but I think if he's on strength treads, the 1380 HP. My control gets silenced again. The right clicks. My control. Oh! He's not getting out of that. I mean, this lane down bottom has been an absolute nightmare for Mind Control. Top lane as well. Yap Sword does able to make the close the gap onto Matuma Man, and this is the big one that Secret were looking for. They finally get that lone druid who's been having a very, very free start to this game. And this is where it gets scary. You know, Secret taking these kills, they have got an insane amount of push. They can take objectives by no tomorrow. They're doing a very good job with their with their supports with the clockwork and with Doctor, making the right rotations. They're getting all the early game items too. The Yap Sword has queued up the Spirit Vessel. Puppy's queued up Drum. They both almost have those items. I mean, the Puppy's well, so what, with the Treads and Drums, he is going to be a pretty beefy Witch Doctor. Yeah. Still a ways away though, because he has to, you know, he's going to be buying the wards. Getting themselves vision. All right. Farm some creeps, I guess. How much gold did he get? Uh, I mean, he got a decent amount. Yeah, okay. I mean, he echoed for the creeps there, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, that he, was... he was definitely... I, I mean, I, 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 yeah, he definitely wasn't looking for a hero. He was just farming, I guess. Wanted to clean up the, uh, the Beastmaster army. Puppy now, though. My control. And Matu. They found him. They got him. He's down. Right. That happens. Yeah, he wasn't near any hero. No, no, no. I mean, There's no, no way he yeah, can struggle he was... kill. That was literally an echo for creeps. <laughs> echo for what? For ace. Four space from down bottom. Shadow Blade will be the build after Dragon Lance. Completed Spirit Vessel. Finished up on Yapsaw. Nine and two on Drow Ranger. He hasn't played it since Danish Bears, though. Nine and two on the Drow. Okay. Would you say this this patch is a, a good patch for some drought straps? I mean, last pick drought can work. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, still strong. Might be a little bit harder when it's versus a team like Liquid, especially because they have a coddle and a shaker in their draft, so they can always like deep push. So usually, as a drought ranger lineup, you're going to take some tier ones and go for that rush, but. Oh! Moonlight Shadow and that that little that hiccup. That was close. The, the pause to cast the Moonlight Shadow is what causes that hook shot to miss. And he had no leap charges left. Miracle was in deep trouble there. That connected. I'll spoil that shot. So now they're giving space to GH. The liquid they want to prioritize. Get the radiance. Get blink at the same time, and then they can start actually making more aggressive moves. The prize is mine. It's become much harder for, for Secret themselves to make. They do not want to be jumping in close to a lone tree of Radiance up top. Miracle. Should be fine. A hookshot still unavailable for 30 seconds. Bottom lane. GH has got his eyes onto Ace. Ace just turns. But the Gerson did a good job of bringing him down low. Does have to back up though because the two are mad there. In fact, with a very, very nice pick of lock from GH. Ace will be trapped and taken down. We get the kill. That's our Ranger up top. Miracle. Being chased. If he gets lucky with the cast bounces, well, just like that. That, ooh, not quite enough there with the damage from the death force. Didn't get enough challenge time. He's trying with the right clicks. That is not going to be enough. Miracle will survive there. Puppy dove. Very deep. If that flare if that rocket hit, he might have actually died. I'm pretty sure he would have done it. Yeah, he would have done it. He was at 90 HP and it would have hit before yeah. the maledict. And he didn't have any raindrops. Yeah. Matu is able to clean up bottom tower. That will be the Radiance. GH now gets hooked. Dead. Oh, it's 300 gold from Blink Dagger. Nightmare for a Shaco, really. Is. Echo to oh. Echo to distance himself. All right. He's live. All right. GH with some very inventive Echo usages, and I mean, like that one, absolutely worth it. As you say, saves the Blink Dagger goal, gets you out of there. Because let's be honest, before that Blink Dagger, you're not really looking to do anything with that Echo anyway, with yeah. the, the positioning that Secret have had. Straight value. Yeah. Secret. Is that a book three going to be finished on? Okay, it's just book two for right now for Fada, and he's almost got book three, and mid one now started working on him. So a triple inch that cleared up for the gyrocopter. And we see how much Liquid is prioritizing defending this la these last two tier, tier ones. Kuroki and GH just sitting mid. Coddle Blast into Earthshaker Fissure. It's a thing people used to do in the past a lot is you do the Coddle Blast and Shaker Fissures just to get the last hits on the Creep Wave so you can solidify your Blink Dagger faster. And that's exactly that. what they've been doing. GH will have that Blink finished in about 30 gold. And Radiance is done. So they've got a pretty good timing coming out if they want to go for some type of smoke movement. 
Yeah, they definitely can. I mean, we've seen, you know, against the Drow Strat, any time that you're able to get on top of the Drow, you're going to feel pretty confident in taking the team fight. Sure, there, yeah. there is sort of the, the sort of answer to that from Secret with heroes like the Gyro. You know, if you're trying to go in the Drow, there is going to be that cooldown, there's going to be that response from the Gyrocopter, which can be very hard to fight into. So, Liquid... They might not... They might, they might not look for a 5-on-5, five five, I guess, Yeah, stage, they might not even, like, look for that because... They can take in, it late. Yeah, and in, in their minds, you know, they can take it late, and also in their minds, they're like, all right, Secret has to try to go for tower claiming. So if we just sit idle and passive and just keep spamming Illuminates until we have more stabs and stuff to visit their stuff, we're going to go Straight in the start information. Looks towards Guru. Takes down the Connor with a cooldown coming in. That's going to be the Tuma Man getting blown up as Mike well. Micro, he's in. linked into that one. And he may just pay the price with a Rocket Barrage from mid one. He'll bring down GH, jump back. Yeah. Mind Control has to be careful. So there's a bit of time left on the Moonlight Shadow. Ace trying to close the gap. A Liquid lose three there in a very sort of awkward attempt to, to defend against Secret's fight. And Fada's on with his lip push. He's going to be able to claim a solo tier too. I really like the Shadow Blade pickup for that exact reason. He walks up the hill, finds the Coddle, gets the kill, and that's going to lead them into the tower. I mean, yes, Liquid were not expecting that Shadow Blade at all. Having Ace suddenly there, appearing in the mid lane. It's all over. They should get this tower down as well. Tier 1 tower is falling. TP in front of GH Shiro. Mind Control there as well, looking to hold. Be able to do so. They've got the missile onto Mind Control. Ace chasing him down as the silence cooldown could connect onto the quad with the homing missile. Mind Control is gone. Now, that's it. TH as well. Liquid starting to crumble. Miracle looking to leap away. They have the spirit vessel ticking him now. Oh, yes. Nearly gets it. 18 to 9, no. 5k. Secret. Continuing to, to just absolutely dominate this one miracle. Nice little sidestep. Does avoid the rocket flare. But this push is getting scarier and scarier. A successful team fight. Another tier two down for Liquid. father has got the Necro book three. Secret definitely playing at the pace and momentum they need to with this lineup to, to secure the win. And Liquid still struggling to put an end to it. We'll see this fight actually from earlier. Again, as you said, Fox with this Shadow Blade initiation. Just catching Liquid off guard. Perfectly yeah, perfectly done by Ace. Yeah. My control blinks in pretty aggressively. Lucky no. that he gets the way. Yeah. Then a blue to the But now, Secret, they get exactly what we need as a drought lineup. Yeah. Rush, but the fear comes out. The Ace is still on the floor. Ooh, GH though, comes with the Echo on to two. We'll be able to take down Butter. Liquid, they're trying to take this despite losing the rush on the edges, and I'll tell you what, it's working. They find Ace. They've taken down two. It does cost them the life of Mind Control. Miracle's able to pick up a third as he finds Puppy, Yapstor, traps in GH. So Secret... Dude, there's a fair few heroes to be fair off the back of getting that Aegis and Roshan. But they, they do protect the Aegis and keep it on their one for that one. So Liquid, even though they get three kills out of that, I think still overall... Secret's going to be happy. They, they can reset. They can make this push with the Aegis once their team's back alive. And Liquid, they just need a little bit more than that to, to swing this game back around. Secret's still definitely with the driving driving control. And with the, I mean, all the auras. Aura drafts, really nice with the push towers. You get one, win two, one team fight, you get one or two towers. And that is a big fear factor for Liquid that they've lost mid lane and top lane already for the outer, outer towers. Miracle now has managed to finish up. He's still doing really well. After dying that first time in the mid lane, he has six kills off the back of it. See there, yeah, Fada did choose to go for the uh, experience scene on the Beast Master. Yes. Of course, the stats and the attack speed, level 15 mm -hmm. as he hits it. Very close to having it. Okay, Pike complete. Oh. Okay, get out of the nope. gap. Too much damage from Ace. GH has to be careful. On the lane, Yapsaw. Set up on to Kuro. Just managed to knock Yapsaw out of the cogs. Kuro, can he keep himself alive? The Spirit Vessel kicking him down. Then the rest of the team moving in, but Yapsaw claims to kill with the Rocket Flare. They pay with his life, though. Matthew Miracle. Do take him down. Two trade. Kuro's happy about that one. Yeah, definitely so. So it's up for the kills. You know, Matthew gets some more money in the pocket, getting that Yapsaw kill. And now Liquid, they themselves in perfect position to push down on the bottom lane. And they may not have the Drow lineup, but they still have a lot of push themselves with the Lone Druid. And the attack speed from that Mirana. Yep. They start inbound. 
Can they get it in time? Oh! Quick. Just in time. Gets the miss. How high? Matu has, I believe the Vlads has almost finished up for himself. Oh, ice. They just had this, so they've got Vada here as well. He is not getting out of that one, Matsumaman. A secret. I mean, they were pushing top. Matsumaman didn't seem, uh, he just goes in for the jungle creeps and he pays the price. No one was there to back him up. Ace is doing so much work with the Shadow Blade. Yeah. They're finding a lot of pickoffs just because of the vision game. The Hawk plus that Shadow Blade is really useful to build. Also, pierce the back lines on the towers. That's also one of the big things is how they got those two towers mid is because of that vision aspect. Now they're looking to go high ground. Or at least threaten high ground for a bit, force some reaction back. But it's versus the Coddle, it's versus the Shaker. They're gonna spam the wave up pretty hard. Yeah, my best to hold back this push. Fortification does have to come out there from Liquid. Mid one continues to man up on the high ground, pushing in, using this aid. Continues to end the hook from Yap, so into the knockback from the cogs. Beautiful play from Yap. Easily steps up to dispatch of mind control's life. Mind control has to back up. GH. Oh my god, they're gonna get the racks. Yeah, but that Maledict and Death Wolf from Puppy, there's no shaker for 30 seconds. Mind control, he's had to buy back for this one. Throws out the starting wave, but it's not enough damage for Super to really care at all as they're hitting up from the Buddha Restoration. They do lose the Aegis and Fada. But they got what they came for. They find the melee rat. Nippon's still eyeing up Miracle. The missile won't connect. Miracle's able to take it down in time. But they back off. They get the objective done. And secret, they've just got to chill out, rinse and repeat. That's massive there it's for them. The first use of the Aegis and they get a Rax. That's incredibly good. 9k gold lead. Saw a Puppy walk up the hill there, throw out the cask and the Maledict on GH, not letting him get that initiation. They're really nice plays position. as well from Yap. You know, as you see they just selflessly hook-shotting into the midst of yeah. it all and securing that quick pick-off to start the push. Oh, my oh God. he it. does. He's got the detection. Ace should be in a whole world of trouble here. There's many more heroes ready to come in and lock him down. GH and Kuro. To my man joining in for a bit of XP. Kuro gets that kill, kill bounty. So four staff finished on Kuroki. Probably going to go for the Agonims next. They need more for our steps. Gia just queued it up as well, but Yaps are putting in so much work with these hooking shots. Bottom lane. Oh, and he's got the roll. Necro hooks down. Miracle has that secondary lead. And that will be enough movement speed to get him out of there. Lane, this combo again, the cult into cooldown, causing a lot of issues from the and He's trying to get out of this, but the Maledict's out. Just a fight. They got the, no, they've got nowhere place to get the rock. Ooh! And the Spirit Vessel is in. Oh, it is! Oh, Yapso! Getting the damage in at the last millisecond of what were they both the Spirit Vessel and the Rocket Flare. And that Spirit Vessel too. Like, yeah. When he TPs home, oh, he, doesn't get the, he doesn't get the regen. You don't? From the that much. regen is going to do nothing for you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we've we said it before, we'll say it again. Yapso is, is having an absolute. Wonder of a game on the clock. This, I mean, look at this. He's got eight to eleven. He has been doing so much on this clock. I thought and, he was going to have some. I yeah, thought he I mean, might yeah, struggle we, a bit, but yeah. he really, he's been playing incredibly well on it. This is. I mean, yeah, as you say, looking at the draft from the start. Sure, it's great against the Shaker, but there's a lot of problems elsewhere. Apparently not in Yapsil's world. Nope. I mean, he's, my control is. My yeah. I rarely see my control have games like this. He's sure. Three and seven. He's queued up an Aeon disc on a Queen of Pain oh, after the no. veil. So you can tell how much he's really struggling. In the last Kiroki. time I saw an Aeon disc was the when uh, Optic played Carry Omni Night. You know, it's you know it's going the game's going a bad way when the Aeon disc comes out. And it's off. The vision game for my secret though has been probably the biggest thing for me this game. They have wards placed in very good positions. The rockets to scout as well as Fada and Ace's positioning with the Shadow Blade and Hawks. It's been it's been really a treat to see. Now they get the scan out on the side. It seems like they always know where Liquid's position. Yeah, Yapsa with the flare as well. Gives the vision of GH, and here's the man himself in all his glory. Straight in onto the Shaker, and GH is down. My control now, too. Uh, he's not getting out of that one. I mean, this game, I know I'll start with the series. Game one was an absolute stomp in favor of Team Liquid. This one less so over the side of Secret because you do look Matsuma Man and Miracle are still farming up a treat, but the momentum that Secret are getting, you know that if Secret win one team fight off the back of a push, they're going to be able to clean up the base. And certainly Liquid are up against Megas, and with their lineup, that is 
a very tricky situation to be in. They're definitely they're, they're one fight away from victory if they can pull it out. See how Liquid can put a stop to that from happening. Though. Tier 3 on the bottom lane, down to half health, forcing back the bear. Constant spam from Kuro, as you can see for the most part. Liquid don't seem to care as the Tier 3 is nearly down. Fortification does come out. Nib one, back in, takes the tower. These pushes continuing to come through from Secret, and despite the tools that, that you would think the Liquid have to de-push, it doesn't seem to matter with the, the items that Secret have. They're 12k ahead. It's hype now finished on Yap, so that's going to make these pushes even easier against the Illuminate. It's, it's getting very hard for Liquid. The it's pressure sheer, is on. Sheer amount of damage that Secret does. Like, okay, there, they, they yep. shake your blast and take out the creep wave, but... In the time that they do that, Secret Ray takes like three quarters of a tower out and they're smoked up again, Secret, every single time. They back up, they get a nice rinse repeat with the smokes and just use their vision and abuse it. Yeah. They see Miracle in the mid lane with the Hawk. Clearing out a wave. Capsule's gonna going to look for some sort of an angle. But the hookshot does fight. Oh, fights core on the skylines, and he'll he'll turn take that as a way to start the fight. Forces forward. Quick Fisher, the backup from Father, just in case Liquid do turn on him. But he is a beefy clockwork. Yeah, how do you? This guy's got 2400 HP. Just, just a hookshot him back right away onto the sidelines. Finding Kuroki does tank the arrow. Kuro still alive for now. Miracle jumps forward with the bird from Mike. They should be able to get this clockwork, and they do. They end the streak of Yabsdor. Miracle now godlike. They cost them Kuro's life. In the back lines, mid one. He's out to CP out. And he is not an arrow. Yeah, arrow from Miracle. Miracle starting to clean up big time. Double kill for this Barada. Barada on the retreat, but look at this. Jump forward from GH. He's trying to cut them off. Quick paralyzing cast and the Maledict, though, puts an end to GH's life. Miracle's still going to be able to jump forward, looking for Ace. Ace trying to get out of there. Butter comes in, attempting to draw their attention away, but it's not going to work. Miracle just turns, takes Butter's life. Ace will fall, and Secret. They're going to get team wide here. Puppy, the last one left. Surrounded by mind control, Matumba Man and Miracle and Liquid striking back hard. Miracle now, top of the net worth. That just fell apart massively for Secret. And to be fair, as much as we've been talking up Yapsaw's play, his committal there sort of pulled Secret into a very awkward position to fight on the low ground in the river, where Liquid had this perfect position to just come in with Miracle and clean up. They got really split off. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, that's exactly what happened. So Liquid, they get the DD rune, and mid one tries to walk in through them, but Matu and Big Miracle just absolutely crush him when he's trying to walk in. Ace wasn't able to actually get into the fight for oh. damage. Now go for the steal. Matuma Man, look at him blocking it though. He's sitting there in the shadow. Matuma Man, what a play there. With the moonlight and himself just blocking it, making sure that Yabzo can't get the, the steal. And now Yabzo, he's being jumped up on there, trying to chase. Mind Control being held back by the car. Giving himself alive with the heal. Pull down from mid one comes through, but Mind Control's already clicked out. Miracle on the front lines. Manning up, bringing Yabzo down low. He's got the Aegis ready for round two. Secret backing away, and they will escape. But very, yeah, just very neat play there from Matu. Under the night vision as well, we saw it. But, uh, but Secret, they, they couldn't see it. Just keep himself out of it. Who used the cheese? I think Mind Control did. Mind Control yeah, did. Yeah, he was okay. getting caught. Right, yeah, that's what I thought. I, was like, I didn't get to see the burst, yeah. yeah. Aeon Disc finished on him. But yeah, Matu's positioning there was absolutely perfect to block that hook shot. Yeah, that sequence of events from Liquid, that is a big swing. It's turning it around. 6k gold and all the experience now in favor of Liquid, actually. Secret were definitely in that position when we saw down bottom that they were they were one successful fight away from potentially just taking the game. But now, with those last two series of events, they're, they're going to need more than just one fight to get to get that victory in the bag now. Yeah. Liquid are recovering, and as we said from the start, with this Lone Druid, and to be fair, with the Mirana, as big as Miracle is, it's only going to get harder the longer this game goes on. Secret needed to ride that momentum if they wanted an easy win here. They buy a gem now on Secret. The Moonlight Shadow's been putting in too much work in the fights. All about that vision. Ace is starting to fall a bit behind. He's been sitting on the Shadow Blade and Hurricane Pike for quite a while, but has the Butterfly queued up and it's not too far away. Something he'll really need. I think he might need a BKB, honestly. It's looking pretty hard for him to get into the fights. As soon as they see him, he just gets bursted. And Kuroki actually buys himself a gem to be able to do that. To see wherever Ace is positioned. That's what they 
can get up now. Level 20. Bardo picks up, of course, the, the yes, extra yes. wild axis damage. So they have got a, an insane amount of D push. Secret wants uh, Liquid to come forward and try and make the pushes happen themselves. Which for now hasn't been too much so. They, they're poked to the tier twos on the sidelines. They do now have the assault crest on the two man. So both teams are so afraid right now. Yeah. They see nothing you... on the map. Liquid's in the yeah. base. Liquid's in the base. Miracle's like, all right, I'll, I'll poke my head up here. And they both know that if you lose a fight, you are losing a lane. Almost certainly, or at least having to expend multiple buybacks. That's for sure. A miracle. What a game this man's had. Yeah, he's been cr crushing it after that first death. 12 kills in a row. And the farm. Absolutely beautiful for Mariah. Yeah. The prize is mine. Ah. Secret just can't allow themselves to get any further behind. BKBs are. <laughs> Key for a secret right now, so yeah. they don't get chained to stable by the shaker. Mid one, this one up himself. Closing in on that Aghanim Scepter as well. I just realized something. GH oh, yeah. is 1 and 11 in this game. He has three more deaths than mind control, but the next person after that is six. It's been a tough game. I mean, he is playing against the clock, you know. Yeah, and it's. Yeah, it's, it's pretty hard. And it's a hard game to play the Shaker. A lot of vision as well, so it's hard for him to get the position yeah. for him to get those spells off. But I mean, not even just the clock, it's it's the cast. Like, Witch Doctor cast has been putting in so much work in these team fights. Yeah. Like, it, it, I, I just, you look at this game, and you know that when, that when the team fights happen, it's like, sure, the Shaker can get in, but there is very little way that he can get out. If he's yeah. getting his spells off, if he's making that commitment to a fight, He's almost certainly going to be losing his life in the midst of it all, with, with the amount of damage just flying around. Liquid's going for a smoke out now. Their mid wave isn't really in the greatest spot, so someone does have to show, and it is Miracle. Let's see what they could do with the smoke. The secret is very split up at the moment. There is no vision on the map, but, well, though for Liquid, they have to get some wards down before they take the space. They should see the life steal coming out on Miracle. They should see the Vlad's aura if Secret's paying attention. Yeah, they do. Yeah, Absorb pings it out. Instant ping. So they know that Liquid is smoked on top of Miracle. And with that in mind, not looking to make any sort of drastic leap in with a hook shot. Mm -hmm. They'll play it cool, but apply completed for Ace. To make sure that, that that aura doesn't go away and he himself at the back. Mid one is going to be pumping out a lot of damage. Yeah. A lot of right clicks in these fights. Matsu's been doing this for like the last three or four minutes. He's sending his bear to split push the waves. Mm -hmm. So he cuts out top wave with that bear with the radiance. Mind control. Blinks him oh, for the oh. rune. <laughs> Bit of an awkward leap there. He does manage to get out with all three of them. But it sort of leaps in and leaves out. Some panic. The moonlight. How's Kuro's Ags yes. doing? He's still 20, he's still like uh, 1400 gold away from it. But he is the five god also, it will always take a while for that one. And one of the big items do we have coming up? Boots of Travel finished up on Beastman. He can set up for those plays, he push and then TP to his team. But Liquid now getting on the aggressive for the first time in a very long time. Actually going to hit the tower. That push, as we said, is very, very quick with that AC, the damage, the the build the Miracle has, focusing on the right click. Plenty that extra rapid attack speed as well on the Tumor map. Tower is gone, Liquid instantly out, ready to prepare for the defense. They know that they have to come back each and any time. Any sort of push is looking to, to have the chance of coming through from Secret. A Secret will, will trash the base with this Jao Jaro push. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. MKB, the next item for Miracle, really needs it for these double butterflies. Any type of way to push. What was Mind Control going for after the year on this? He just queued up the Kaya. Okay. okay. He already has that one big defensive. Yeah, and Kaya is such a value item, man. Yeah. Pretty much as we're seeing at the moment, just any any interior, any spellcaster. He's, he's still so poor though. 9,500 net worth. Clockwork is a thousand gold ahead of him. And the Aeon disc, the Aeon disc can prove to be pretty nice versus the Beastmaster Roar and Gust. If they both get applied on him at the same time, it can remove that. Sure. Bottom, nice to find a catch on the Miracle if they're going to potentially kill him. Clutch Gust comes out with that Island. That's... I mean, that's everything, but that's him down for 100 seconds. The that's dream the would be if they can force out the buyback. And with the pushing power they have, I think they've got a pretty good chance for it. I mean, 
I, I don't know. Liquid, they do have good D push, so maybe they won't need Miracle for the defense. But if Secret can get that buyback out of them, that is a huge win. Yeah, they need to. Liquid has to just spam out the waves with the Kado yeah. and try to cut them with the Lone Druid. Kuroki, though, oh, if they might get spotted out here. He can't die. I was just, if they lose Kuro as well. Hook shot up in five seconds. Yapso, he's got it in three. Can he hit it? It is going to have to be blind. He's not going to try. No, it's oh. not going to try. It's too hard. Pato, though, focusing on pushing out the lanes. Same thing with mid one. He pushes out mid. And look at, look at Matsu's position. He knows he has to just go for the red top for a bit. Yep, try and but force them off this foot. Secret's in. Yep. Trying to force the buyback. They start this jump pull from mind control. Looking for mid one. These racks. They die. They're, they're going. I mean, they may just accept that these ones are lost. But Eon Disc for mind control. We'll see if it does enough to save him. And no, that's the Eon Disc. It, no. Did not out whatsoever. He's still dead. He's down for 70. Miracles had to buy back. They claim the range racks. Ace. He jumps upon GH. In one man echo slam. Slides himself back up. Mid point actually goes up to the high ground. Feeling very, very confident. He may pay for this one, though. Miracle looking to turn on him. Has the triple arrow to get the knockback as well. Bringing him one up to the high ground. But he pops the BKB. Oh, he just turned the eight. Falling very low. We'll, we'll get out with the Moonlight Shadow. But that Death Ward of Malady, that's going to bring Miracle down very low. He's going to pop. That's a, that's a dieback. Puppy Witch Doctor. Those sort of plays late game, Maledict, at just all stages of the game, that spell is absolutely redonkulous. How much you can do, and as you say, that, that is 95 seconds, no Mirana. They managed to clean out the bottom lane. Only the top lane of Rack stands. Can Liquid really hold without their, without their mid laner for over a minute against this sort of pushing power that Secret have? going to be really tough for them. They tried to go for the rat with Matu in that top lane, but Gap, they just, Secrets had such an advantage, especially with those auras, they push so much faster. And, then, and this is the thing I guess we're seeing, you know, with, with Muranas, it's, you have such a lot of offensive potential. Sure, the leap's nice, but at the end of the day, you are not the beefiest of heroes. Sure. He's getting comboed. Oh. Well, uh, that's the push gone. Yeah, just going to still try and commit, just coming with a hook shot. Hold down the cogs. The roots up there. Onto Puppy, they've got to get back out of this one, but the Bastards are coming through. Puppy, he's just going to get brought down low. The Mind Control finish off the kill. Doesn't look like he can for now. GH does go down, will buy back. Oh, the cast bounces there between Mind Control and Matuma Man causing issues. They're actually buying back here to try and finish this one off. The full five man, beating in. Mind Control jumping forward, instantly gets disarmed though, and that overcommittal will cost him his life. 20 seconds until Miracle's back up, but they are going to get Mega Creep. Secret just clean up the top lane. Second bear dead too. The bear is down. They're just going to continue pushing on. 15 seconds to Miracle's back, but I don't know what Miracle can do against this sort of pushing power. They may... No, they can't even give it a try. It's all over. GG is called Secret. Ah, oh, GG. <laughs> <The last laughs> it was a big end for last that gone on. It was not. But what a, what a play. What a game for the to turn around as well from game one. But they got absolutely battered for game two. They pulled through the drought strike. Yapsor had an incredibly clean opening to this game, and we saw fairly on. He was making so many plays on this clockwork, and it was just impossible for Liquid to deal with. They tried their best, you know, Matsuma Man and Miracle had an insane amount of farm. They did. But at the end